some of the others represent planets as well. But this particular part of the puzzle pertains to a precise planetary position. Jupiter and Saturn in conjunction. What's that supposed to mean? Well, historically, Harry, when Jupiter and Saturn are conjunct, there are enormous shifts in power and fortune. Jupiter being expansive in its influence, Saturn contracted. Conjunction suggests a state of, of intensification, concentration. What this indicates to me is the potential for explosive change, good and bad. Hi, and welcome to 2020. Now, for the last few years, I and many others have been predicting that the year 2020 will be a year of many great changes. Many of us have even gone as far as predicting that there may be a somewhat supernatural event on a very specific date that will affect us all mentally, emotionally and physically. The projected date of this specific event is the 21st of December 2020. I suppose the next logical question anyone would ask is why 2020? Specifically, why the 21st of December? Now, before I directly address that question, I would just like to point out that this so-called astrological event that will herald in change is not particularly just a one-time, one-day event. It is a process that is building up to that date and has already begun. It began in 2012, reached its midpoint in 2016, and will end with a great grand spectacle in 2020. Hence the term 2020 vision. Now, it's no secret that over the last few years, particularly since 2012, there has been a dramatic increase in new technology, information and knowledge in all aspects of our collective reality here on Earth. From the rise of cryptocurrency rivaling traditional fiat money, technology that seems to be exponentially rising year by year, then there's the rise of veganism and other less mainstream diets and health protocols, as well as spirituality making a comeback in opposition to traditional religious narratives. Not forgetting, of course, the rise of alternative sciences questioning the modus operandi. The geocentric flat earth versus the heliocentric globe earth debate as a good example. And finally, I think it's safe to say, increasingly, there is political and social chaos in all countries, communities and cultures on earth. I'm sure many of you will agree that today's world seems completely upside down, confused and chaotic with all these rapid changes happening so quickly at the same time. Many of these changes have been largely instigated with the advent rise of the internet, which has allowed us to seek and share information more rapidly, openly and widely than ever before in modern human history. The word apocalypse is derived from the Greek word apocalypsis, meaning uncovering. We could say an apocalyptic event is one that uncovers, discloses, unveils or reveals that which has been hidden. We are all currently going through an apocalypse that began in 2012, just like the Mayans predicted, and will end in 2020, after which a new chapter in human history will begin. So now we ask, how on earth could the ancient Mayans have predicted something so far ahead in the future? The answer is simple. Well, astrology. Astrology is simply the reading and logging of the astral cycles and patterns of our sun, moon, planets, stars and all other celestial bodies. Knowledge of the cyclical patterns of the heavens allows us to better understand cycles and patterns of natural phenomenon as well as human behavior here on Earth. Most ancient cultures knew that we humans here on Earth were directly affected by the celestial energies and cycles of the heavens. 
they also understood that everything on earth and in our universe is cyclical and not linear. There is nothing new under the sun. That which has happened before will happen again. The ancients knew that planets, stars and other such celestial bodies all carry their own unique individual energy signatures that inadvertently affect us as humans here on earth. This is why the sun makes us feel a certain way at certain times of the year and the moon affects us in certain ways depending on its phases. When the sun is at its peak on a beautiful summer's day, we humans release copious amounts of melatonin, which generally makes us happy. And when there is a full lunar moon at certain times of the year, humans release copious amounts of serotonin, which can make us behave like, well, lunatics. This is true of all the other planets, stars and celestial bodies. All the heavenly energy bodies subconsciously affect us all individually and collectively at certain times of the day, month, year, season, decade, century, millennium or cosmic age. Knowing which planets and stars release which energies at certain times allows us to preempt and understand human conscious behavior and progression now and in the future. That's the beauty of astrology. It shows us cycles and cycles help us to predict the future. Everything in our universe is connected from the microcosm to the macrocosm. As above, so below. As within, so without. So what does the year 2020, specifically the 21st of December, have to do with all of this? Well, everything. Let me explain. If human conscious behavior here on Earth is cyclically mirrored to astrological cycles and phenomenon, then all we have to do to predict the future is understand which astral cycles affect humans how and when they happen. When a planet or star constellation is at its peak energy release for us humans to subconsciously receive, we say that planet or star constellation is exalted. When certain planets and stars are exalted, at the same time, we say they are conjunct. The more exalted planets and star constellations are in conjunction at the same time, the more influential those energies will be for us here on Earth. Now, not all planets and stars project the same amount of energy. Some planets and stars are more powerful than others. In our known universe, the planets Saturn and Jupiter are both extremely powerful energies. When these two planets are in conjunction, this is known as a great conjunction. At certain cyclical times, great conjunctions can be so powerful that they create celestial phenomenon. These celestial phenomenon are what we might call cosmic events. Cosmic events rarely happen. For one to happen, many other varying planets and stars have to be aligned at specific places at the exact same time as a great conjunction. The most famous cosmic event on Earth is of course the historic Great Deluge or Biblical Flood that many historians, mythologies and religions still talk about to this day. Such phenomenon usually occurs at the end or beginning of large cosmic cycles. Naturally, as above, so below, these celestial events, when they do happen, have a direct, almost instant impact on us here on Earth. The bigger the celestial event, the bigger the conscious and physical impact we experience. Right now, as you listen to this, we are all experiencing the end of a cosmic cycle. How do I know? Well, it's written in the stars. 
astrology. The planets and stars are shifting into dramatic positions and these celestial dramas are reflecting here on earth as political, financial, social and cultural chaos. This current dramatic shift we are experiencing will rapidly accelerate during the course of 2020 and will end with a dramatic closing scene. This closing scene is the main event which will happen on the 21st of December 2020. So let's now walk through the 2020 celestial script. Let's start from the beginning of 2020. From January until December 2020, we will experience the very rare triple conjunction of Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto. These three planets are super energy planets, so for them to conjunct three times in one year is huge to say the least. According to astrologers, the last time Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto were conjunct in Capricorn was in 1894 BCE, just over 3000 years ago. And now it's about to happen again in 2020. The 1894 BCE triple conjunction is said to have triggered the birth of the great empire of Babylon and the Sumerian people that went on to rule and dominate the world for many millennia after. And now, in 2020, more than 3,000 years later, we will experience yet another great triple conjunction. However, unlike the triple conjunction that birthed Babylonia 3,000 years ago, which lasted only a few months, the coming Capricorn trifecta in 2020 will last almost an entire year. As you can see, for these Titan energies to meet three times in one year is super rare. It marks significant and great change. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Next, we have the Saturn and Pluto conjunction. Saturn and Pluto will make their exact conjunction in Capricorn on January the 12th, 2020. Saturn-Pluto conjunctions are relatively rare events that happen approximately every 33 to 38 years and last slightly over two years. Saturn and Pluto are aligning for the first time since 1981. The time before that was 1947. So as you can see, this cycle is a big deal and has much to do with politics and renewal. Why do I say this? Well, the last Saturn-Pluto conjunction in 1981 heralded the birth of the internet and PC. And the one before that, in 1947, was the beginning of a new era after World War II. Next, we have the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction. Jupiter and Pluto generally meet once every 13 years. However, in 2020, they will be meeting three times in the same year. They will meet on April the 4th, June the 30th, and November the 12th. Now, for these two planets to meet three times in one solar year is extremely rare. The last time Jupiter and Pluto met was once in December 2007, just before the start of the 2008 financial world crisis. The next time they will meet will be once again in the year 2033. So, as you can see, we are extremely lucky to be having a Jupiter-Pluto conjunction not once, but three times this year. Next, we have the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction. When Saturn and Jupiter meet, it's called a Great Conjunction, as we've already established. Great Conjunctions occur about every 20 years. Great Conjunction years are always preceded by Great Changes here on Earth, hence the term Great Conjunction. However, 
Not only are we going to have a Jupiter and Saturn great conjunction in 2020, incredibly, this great conjunction happens to fall on December the 21st, the time of our December solstice. This has not happened for thousands of years. Now, why is this significant, you might ask? Well, every year on the 21st of December, we have something called the solstice. On its own, this is an astrological special little event for many, many reasons. During this time of the year, the sun changes its celestial transitional path along the electromagnetic dome of our sky, starting on the 21st and ending on the 25th of December. Essentially, the sun allegorically dies on the 21st and is reborn on the 25th. In other words, the sun changes its frequency, setting the tone for the upcoming solar year. This little event marks the birth of the sun and a new solar year. It is also the shortest day of the year if you're in the northern hemisphere or the longest day of the year if you're in the southern hemisphere. This event happens every year, but the energy shift is so subtle we barely consciously notice any change. But that's not the only solstice surprise of 2020. On the same day as the June 21st, 2020 solstice, we will also have an annular solar eclipse. Interestingly, we just had a very dramatic annular solar eclipse on the 26th of December, 2019, just after the December solstice. Now, as you can already tell, the stage is set for cosmic drama in 2020. To have a rare 3,000-year triple conjunction, a 33-year Saturn-Pluto conjunction, a 13-year Jupiter-Pluto conjunction, and a 20-year Jupiter-Saturn great conjunction that happens to fall on the most significant solar day of the year, the December solstice, as well as an annular solar eclipse that also happens to fall on the exact same day as the June 2020 solstice is incredibly mind-blowing to say the least. There's no doubt the celestial plot is undeniable and unmistakable. But wait, there's more. When Saturn and Jupiter great conjunctions happen, every 20 years, they coincide with a certain zodiac constellation. Now, all great conjunctions, apart from one since 1802, occurred in Earth zodiac constellation signs. However, the next conjunction on December the 21st, 2020, will be at zero degrees in the constellation of Aquarius, an air sign. Great conjunctions in air elements are part of a large 140-year transitional cycle. Now, all great conjunctions from 2020 to 2159 will remain in air signs. The fact that the 2020 solstice great conjunction will happen at zero degrees of Aquarius is also incredibly significant. The zero degree angle tells us that this is the beginning of something new, the beginning of the age of Aquarius, the beginning of the air energy signs. This is the age of air energy, advanced technology, intellectual social change, rapid social progression, and new concepts 
that reshape our entire political and socio-economic system. These energies will be incredibly powerful from the 21st of December 2020 to the year 2159, as all great conjunctions between this time frame will be in air signs. Furthermore, many mainstream astrologers are predicting that the 2020 Saturn-Jupiter Great Conjunction will be so close to one another that they will create what appears to be one large bright planet. This is because they will only be seven arc minutes apart during this conjunction, which is extremely rarely close for such large and powerful bodies of energy, especially considering the day on which this is happening, the December solar solstice. So, let's just break all of this down one last time, so you get a full picture of the dramatic play that is about to unfold in 2020. One, we're going to have a rare Saturn, Jupiter and Pluto triple conjunction in Capricorn that only happens once every 3000 years. Two, we are also going to have a Saturn-Pluto conjunction that only happens every 33 years. Three, we're also going to have a Jupiter-Pluto conjunction that only happens every 13 years. And of course, we're going to have our 20-year Jupiter-Saturn great conjunction that happens to fall on the most significant solar day of the year, the December solstice. Furthermore, the December 21, 2020 solstice great conjunction also falls in the constellation of Aquarius at zero degrees, marking the beginning of the age of Aquarius and the air energy signs for another 140 years from the year 2020 to the year 2159. Plus, the annular solar eclipse that also just happens to fall on the first day of the June 21st, 2020 solstice. I don't think there's much more that needs to be said. The stars speak for themselves, for those with the right knowledge and the eyes to see. Suffice to say, I'd be incredibly surprised if this crazy celestial drama that's about to unfold in the next coming year does not reflect as crazy drama here on Earth. After all, as above, so below. The drama that is going to unfold up there will reflect physically down here. In my next video, I'll be explaining how I think this 2020 celestial drama will physically unfold here on Earth. Happy 2020, everyone. Goodbye for now. Can I make the prediction? A thousand years ago, there was a great conjunction. I was there. Three suns lined up. That's when the crystal cracked. That's when the Skeksis appeared. And the mystics. Another great conjunction coming up. Anything could happen. The whole world might burn up. Now, Ask what the Great Conjunction is. What's the Great Conjunction? What's the Great Conjunction? You tell me. The Great Conjunction is the end of the world! Oh, the beginning? Huh. End, begin, all the same. Big change. Sometimes good, huh. sometimes bad.
challenges uh, in our own ways. And you know, now is the time for us to start co-creating. You know what we want. We've got to start manifesting what we want, not the superficial stuff. What soul's desires? What soul's